Miss Yune, and I'm going to show you today how to create a mood board that you can use on your social media. If you have been following me on Instagram, you will see that I like to do a Monday mood board every week, um, and I'm going to show you exactly how I create those. So because I use them on Instagram, I'm going to start off with um, an Instagram post or template. So I'm going to select that, and then... We're just waiting. Oh, perfect. Okay. Okay. So you can go over to the grids and then you some, can scroll through here and basically select any design that you like. Okay. So this is the design that I use for my Instagram post. So I'm going to show you how I create those every week. Okay. So I selected this uh, template from the grids. I'm just gonna scale it down so that it looks the same as my one. It's just there we go. Create it nice and center. Okay, so there you have it. You've got your template. So and uh, now all we need to do is um, fill it up with a pretty picture and some colors. And I'm gonna go through and. Um, see what I haven't done let's see what there is um, where's my breakfast photos I want to create one for this week's theme oh there we go um, and then I'm gonna select let's go with this there we go I'm gonna drag it in there Double click and then just resize it. So I want a little bit less of the phone to show in the photo. Because I feel that that's just distracting. And show a little bit more of the flowers. There we go. Perfect. Now to fill this with a color you can just click on the color wheel here at the top and uh, select a color and it's gonna fill it with a color well, i want to introduce you to my very special friend mr color picker over here um he is um so it's just a color pick extension for chrome i'll leave the link for that in the comments down below this little guy is going to save you so much time when you're busy designing um, visual content. It's crazy. Um, before I knew about Mr. Color Picker, I, I went and I had to open up the document in Photoshop and then select the color and then come back to Canva and, you know, input the hex code and that was the way I did it. But because I've got Mr. Color Picker right here, I can just easily select the colors right here and now. So you click on them and you want to select the pick color from page. Okay. And then it's going to bring up this bar at the top. And what you want to do is you want to hover over the color that you want to select. So I'm going to go for this dark pink color first click on it okay so the color has been copied to my um, clipboard then I'm gonna click on the plus icon and I'm gonna go down here and paste that color code in there boom wasn't that like so quick and easy I just love it okay and we're gonna do I'm gonna go with a lighter shade of pink so I'm going to select my second block over here, again, click on it, plus sign, drop it, drop it in, paste it, there we go, enter, boom, love it, so quick and easy. Let's just do like a very light pink, boom, right there, good, oh, wait, just get on the right one, there we go, again, paste it in enter and it's there and for this very last one I think we're gonna go and select this very peachy pink color over here and we 
drop it in there. Perfect. There we go. We've just created a mood board in like under five minutes. How easy was that? Okay, so I'm just going to, I think I'm just going to resize this a little bit more because I want a little bit more tulips and a little less smoothie bowl. I think. Now it just looks weird. Let's see how that looks. Perfect! What I call working smart and working fast. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and remember to subscribe and I will see you guys again next week. Thanks so much for watching.